Welcome backstage, everyone. I'm here with, you know who this is, Bill Nye, the science guy. And he's got a new book. It's called Undeniable, Evolution and the Science of Creation. And this is based on this uh, debate that went viral, pretty much, with you and this creationist guy, Ken Ham. Yep. Tell me about that debate. What's, how did you, what was your takeaway from that? Well, what surprised me is how many people are interested in it. That is to say, how many people uh, are still have questions in their hearts and their minds about evolution, the most important idea in all of life science, the most important idea in biology. Mm -hmm. And so uh, I thought it would be kind of another college gig. I'd show up. There'd be some tweeting. You know, the kids mm -hmm. with their Twitter. With their Twitters. With the electric uh, phone machines that That's they have, it. the kids. You talk it up, but I've seen you with the electric phone machine. And I you know do. How to I work love the thing. electric phone machine. And so uh, I thought there'd be like a college appearance, which are great. Uh, but this thing's had over 4 million views in the last year. Right. And uh, the one that led to it, this thing I did on Big Think, has had uh, almost 7 million views. Mm -hmm. And it shows you that people are really interested in it. Of people course, want yeah. to know about it. And so I wrote a book, which I would call a primer or a primer mm -hmm. on the fundamentals of evolution. Was it this book right here? That's the one. New York Times bestseller, so I feel really good about that. Congratulations on that. There's a lot of really interesting stuff in here. Now you're talking. One of which is that you say uh, there's no such thing as race. Is that right? That's right, in a sense, in a very important sense. Because there's a lot of, would you say there's such a thing as racism? Uh, well, certainly there is, and it's inappropriate. <laughs> okay. And I'll show you why. You can run this own test, your own test yourself. Okay. If you are from, where are your people from? Europe. Europe. I, I don't I know guess. you. I don't know what your deal is. <laughs> right. uh, my understanding is you're married. I am married. I know nothing about you, but if you were to have uh, an interaction, can we say interaction sure. on the, on the uh, Bill Maher thing? HBO. We can say interaction. If you were to have sex with uh, a woman from China, mm -hmm. southern China, western China, all you're going to get is a human. Right. Uh, I, you're not going to get anything else. Sorry, man. <laughs> Uh, they're all the only thing that's going to come out is a human, and uh, that's because we're all one species. We are all one race mm -hmm. in a sense. The only difference is the color of our skin, and that's a result of <clears throat> where our ancestors lived on the Earth's surface. The closer you are to the equator, in general, right. the more ultraviolet it is there is, and the darker your skin is. If you live in Tibet, you're closer to outer space, more ultraviolet. Your skin is also darker than people who might even be uh, south of you. And that's uh, such a weird thing for people to get hung up on. Uh, well, there have always been tribes. Right. There have been tribes, and tribes are how we all got here. But uh, we have to appreciate now that we live on, in a global community. And so the tribal thing, the tribal loyalties are fun uh, when it comes to the Super Bowl or what have you, but they are not relevant when it comes to um, our future. We all have, we're all in this together. We're not going to live on any other planet anytime soon. There's no, uh, there's no good reason to not embrace everybody as a fellow human. I like your attitude. I'm not going to lie. Bill Nye the Science Guy, thank you for continuing to thank drop you. knowledge. Thank you. We're just trying to change the world. And uh, there's a chapter in there which I'm going to revise. I spent some time on it, and I'm very I'm very excited. Wait, which chapter is this? Well, you can stay tuned, but it's about genetically modified food. Oh. I went to Monsanto, and I spent a lot of time with the scientists there, and I have revised my outlook, and I'm very excited about telling the world. When you're in love, you want to tell the world. So. When can we look forward to this? Well, I don't run the publishing business, but in general, next fall. Okay. Keep an That's eye out. That's the way they do it. Next fall would be 2015 fall, if you're scoring along with us. <laughs> Bill, thank you so much thank again you. for coming on the show. Let's change the world. Let's do it.